Hey YouTube. So, um, today I want to talk about ghosts and spirits and all of the lovely spooky things that uh, come up so often during this time of the year. Ghosts for me are, I don't know, when I think of the afterlife and of that nature, I really believe that things move on to different planes of existence, that there's something that happens, whether we all become one big energy or something else. So the idea of this exact consciousness that I'm in, or a conscious of a loved one, or anything like that, having such attachment to this world that they hold on to it, really saddens me in a lot of ways, because that means that for whatever reason they're holding on to something that they no longer can really have. It is a stagnation for them. So a ghost of that manner really, really is a sad, sad thing. And I see where, within that thought process, how they become this very um, spooky, chilling, almost um, envious of life um, in any way, shape, or form that really would um, frighten people in a lot of sense. But then there's other um, aspects of it, I think, that come into play all the time. The idea that uh, other planes of existence, other planes of being, where other parts of my life or other people's lives. Uh, I do wonder all the time, I have a lot of dreams where I recognize people as people I've experienced in this life and then there's other people I don't recognize and I really have to wonder if it's me going back to a past life, me going back to a presence where I recognize people because I'm in this consciousness now and me going back there I recognize things and I wonder if people are calling out to a past version of myself or a current plane of my, a current version of myself, another plane of existence. However you look at time, if it's circular, wobbly, intermeshing, linear. Tw time makes my head hurt when I think about it too much, so I kind of wonder if ghosts are, are, are a version of that as well, that whole crossing planes of existence, that if time is this moldy, wobbly Play-Doh of a thing, if we mush together at times, if someone is calling back to me, so when I have a moment when I'm sleeping, or if I'm in a deeply meditative state and I feel the need to go out and experience something else. If they are calling to me, do I get pulled back in that? And so for that reason, I think that ghosts can be both, for, it's not obvious by now, I do believe they exist. Um, whether or not they are definitive spirits that have uh, attached on to things and they're haunting, etc. and so forth, I don't necessarily know if that's the case. Um, I'm sure there are, I'm sure it exists where there's some, a ghost that is deeply attached to this world that no longer needs to be, needs to let go. But I don't feel that they could, um, really harm or, uh, really affect anything in this life, unless you believe that they can. Unless you allow them to, basically. Allow them into your space, into your life, to do that. There are definitely times where I feel presence of something watching me, but... I don't actually know if it's a ghost, per se. There are times where, um, in my parents' house now, it's the house where both my grandmother and my grandfather passed away in, and there are times where things rattle and move and change, and I have to wonder if it's my grandfather or my grandmother doing something. But I don't like that. I am not a fan of you rattling and doing of anything like that. And because part of it is, this is now my space. You had it. You moved on. You passed. It is time to let go. It is time to do something else in your life. Or your force, or whatever it is in your existence that you are um, currently experiencing. It's time for something new. You can't be lingering around here the whole time and expect me to allow some of those things, I guess. So that's ghosts of a human sense. But then I think of spirits and of other demons, entities, whatever you want. Um, elementals, things of that nature. And that is a totally different... Uh, thing in mindset because they belong just as much on this plane in this world as I think any of us do And they're not trying to hold on to anything else. I think they're trying to experience things as much as we are whereas ghosts of a human sense really make me wonder Unless you're reaching back from a past life if, it, if it's invited if there really is such negative I've never experienced a negative entity if you haven't in the comments down below or and not just like heebie-jeebies Where like something is like no this thing is starting to real fuck with my life. It needs to get the fuck out I've never experienced that, and I really have to wonder if it is just because of whether there are things you invite in your life, or if it's just that there has never been a negative presence that has wanted to fuck with me, I've just never encountered it. But when it comes to spirits or anything else of that nature, I don't- there have definitely been times where I feel eyes on me, um, or things watching me. 
I really feel that if, because uh, there are times like when I in, when I have those dreams like that, or where I go back and I recognize things. There's it's not necessarily where I recognize them as they are, like their face is different, but there there's a familiarity to these things. And there are definitely times where eyes are on me, and it is not familiar. It is different. It is odd. It is new. And that really um, intrigues me. Sometimes it's not, it's malevolent. It's not a happy thing. It's more of a negative idea or feeling that comes across. And But a lot of times it's also very positive, a very um, almost curious, neutral type of thing. And I have to wonder what that is because it is very much when like I, when you can sense another person's in the room. Like my mother will walk by and I'm just, I just turn around like she's not like she really made that much noise. Um, and I was focused on something else. I, sh I didn't hear any footsteps, but then suddenly there she's in the room. It was like, oh, I did, I did sense her there. And things like that, where I sense things, um, looking, sense things, um, checking in. Um, when I did my dedication ceremony, I definitely felt that. And it was very um, weird for me because I was kind of new and I, I felt like I was inviting something in and I didn't know what was watching me. And I realized, well, you're currently inviting your matron in to dedicate to her. Maybe it's her watching you. Maybe it's her going like, yeah, I see you. I'm here. Let me know. I'm in the room. What's up? This is kind of new for you, so it's going to feel new. It's fine. And other spirits and other elementals. And I really am um, interested in inviting more of that in. I'll probably have a whole other video on that um, for this thing. Because that's something that really interests me. Is inviting in other types of spirits. And how I, w I wonder a lot of times um, could they be confused as ghosts because ghosts because you always get that creepy feeling of something that's not quite in your space right that's something that's not of this plane of your energy vibe something you're not really expecting and I wonder if a lot of times people confuse uh, different types of spirits for ghosts for a human soul they're like oh that is that weird person that died here and the spirit's like no I'm not and so they do something to like like it's not no that's not what I am look look what I can do it's not not the same thing and you just get more peed by the confusion that would totally be me if I if there if I was a ghost at any point in time and if someone was like that's great Aunt Betty and it was me Sam the whole time I'd be pissed I'd be like fuck that no look it's me it's me I just start like banging making fire happen Anything that would signal that it's me, it's like, look, I like fire, remember? Candles, that was my thing. Me. My thing. And people go on and on about it's great Aunt Betty the whole time, but that, that would be my situation if I was a ghost. Me just trying to convince people that it is actually me. What's up? I wonder a lot of times if that's where a lot of the aggravation comes in, is the mislabeling of who you're interacting with. Um, so that's something I'm going to try a little bit more, especially since it's October and Salwin's around the corner, and so the veil is thin. When I think of the veil being thin, um, that really triggers a whole lot of, it's not just for ghosts, it's for other things too. Um, it's for all the planes of existence to kind of come together. So I do think I want to try contacting um, some of the things that have been poking their head in on me from time to time. Uh, invite them into my space and see what's up, see what's going on. And there's this uh, particular entity that I definitely feel on the regular, which I probably will do a whole new video on him. I don't like gendering. I, I call him a him, but I don't feel like he's gendered. Like, I feel like he's just a, they're just a thing that's always kind of um, been present ever since a, cer a certain moment in my life. Uh, pops in and out for sure, but definitely come, seems to always come back. And I think I need to start building a relationship. Um, I've been really interested in videos. There's, um, Witch and Moon um, did an amazing video on conjuring, contacting spirits i um, talking to them and then spirit vessels that really got me thinking um, since I wanted to do this video and so I think I'm definitely going to try to contact this particular entity a little bit more and possibly create a vessel for uh, them to take a permanent space in my house because I feel like they've been around enough they definitely have helped me out um giving me some insight to some things and so I feel like I should honor that a little bit with something I'll do a whole new video on that in more detail so Anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts on ghosts, spirits, and like. Uh, this is Utober, so I am doing a new video every single day for the month of October. If you are liking any of these, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I am all about the interaction. That is kind of why I'm doing this. It's my personal challenge, is to get all the interactions and fun stuff out there. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.